by Wall Street Media. This is Marley. I'm here with Doug, and we'll help you make money in the stock market with information you can't get anywhere else. And we're going to have plenty of that this week. We've got um, we have a lot of Wall Street Analyst Forum coming up, and a new one. Um, this is a guy from Prudential Securities left and started his own company, uh, Very Independent Research, and Tyler will be oh, there. Yeah, we have them. Um, when is that, Ty? Thursday? Thursday. That's Thursday. Uh, we're going to have like 12 hours of Tyler. Um, we have management changes. Yeah, for better or worse. What do we have? For better or worse. We have Ford Motor Company, their ticker's F, announced that Robert Graziano, currently the EVP for Mazda Motor Corporation, was appointed president and CEO of Ford Motor China, effective April 1st. Ah, just kidding. Um, <laughs> <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> no, um, I own some Ford uh, in, in one of the co-investor I own a Ford. For some long-term stuff. Do you? Yeah. What do you Ford. own? What is it? A Ford Explorer. Yeah? That's what I drive. Okay. Um, I, I, where are they going? They're not going anywhere. They're not going anywhere. No. It's Ford. Yeah. We have Nutrition 21, their tickers NXXI, announced that Paul Intlkofer resigned as their CEO and as a director of the company. Yeah. I don't know anything about that. And lastly, we have Opexa Therapeutics, their tickers OPXA, announced that David McWilliams, their president and CEO, has notified the company of his intention to retire. Uh, slowing down a little bit in the management changes, Pretty quiet huh? in management changes. Except for... Bear Stearns! I was like, are you going to talk about it again? <laughs> Gosh, <laughs> I didn't mean to talk about, about, about Bear Stearns. I mean, I saw today Jimmy Cain's got an armed bodyguard, um, which he probably should have had for a long time, except there's not a lot of people carrying weapons at bridge See, I tournaments. I that's a little bit ridiculous. You know, when he was uh, playing bridge while the ship was sinking, right? <laughs> Oh, maybe maybe should have had the bodyguard then. Maybe the bodyguard could have tapped him on the shoulder and said, "Hey, Idiot. don't you run a bank? Maybe you ought to go there every once in a while and see how the hell that's going." <laughs> no, I went past there today, so I'll see NBC truck sitting out front. I guess they're eagerly awaiting like the latest Some news. Decision. Yeah, you know, I I also saw um, that they think like the Fed pushed it to be so low <laughs> the, the the sale price um, because. Of the communists and the socialists, the scum that are trying to ruin America. Um, you know, they're against anybody who, who has any value or merit or anything. Um, and so they were trying to penalize anyone who was a shareholder mm -hmm. and not look like they were bailing out stockholders, people that own stock, right? Which I would think were like would the good people, the good right? Ones. Or the yeah. better people, the yeah. ones who have worked harder, right? Um, and who are smarter. So that was kind of disappointing and sickening to me, um, just to see it be so blatant, you yeah. know. Um, we need to rise up, people. <laughs> First in D.C., uh, we've got the, the scum in D.C. too today trying to take away our constitutional rights. Um, if you're free, most of you are probably working because um, you are just, the good people, like right? That. Um, but if you can get a day off, you ought to take a day off and take your guns to D.C. and let's <laughs> overthrow them. Okay. Um, they're trying to take away our Second Amendment rights. You know? Don't, don't tell them to take Tyler, weapons, we should take our weapons and go down and, and overthrow them. They can't do this. We don't do have this. any weapons here. Um, don't worry. If we had weapons, we should take them. <laughs> I'm, right. a, I'm a terrible liar as I say like this. Right. Um, I saw today that a more further excellent report i got to call my buddies at Reuters. It's 11 o'clock, so they're either still in the bar or just getting to the bar for today's bow. Um, they're a very serious crew, the Reuters people. Um, but well, they got to get rid of some of these reporters, about. you know, because they're such, like, liberal scum idiots. They're not good enough to be doing this and writing for the public. I have a scum count going, by the well, way. I, I saw this Here morning. I saw this morning, right? And, and they had an article, and Tiffany's beat expectations. They're up $5 a share, right? Which is, like, super fantastic, right? Up $5 a share. But Hopefully a lot of you own because them. Because I buy all my food with and, that money. Yeah, and, and so, like, the liberal scum idiot journalist, you know, more. like 99% of all journalists, um, worthless, good for nothing, writes down, Without any facts, with didn't, I didn't speak to anybody. No, no, I just felt no like a, promoting my liberal agenda, and I'm an idiot. Um, so they typed, they typed in uh, that the people weren't buying at Tiffany's uh, because they had to spend their money on food. food. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, this is like more of like the cat stories, Tyler's cat stories from California, where they knew the pets were for foreclosed homes. 
<laughs> right? Like, like the, the, the new stray pets they knew were from foreclosed homes. We read that article too. Reuters has now jumped into the fray. Maybe it's, it's someone like that was... the business funnies. Yeah. Like you just read, like a comic book. And I just think like, okay, I know. You're a journalist. You're a dismal failure in life, right? You were good for nothing. That's a good um, new one. A dismal failure in life. They don't. Well, we haven't heard in a while. No. And so you're worthless. You know nothing. Um, you're trying to push your uh, horrible liberal agenda. And so you're just going to write these things. They knew the, the pets were from all the four closed homes. Today they know people were buying food instead of shopping at Tiffany's. I drove in past Tiffany's today. Nobody there was going like this. I, I looked out front. And no one was like actually having like a little debate going, hmm, should I pick up a $12,000 ring or some Wonder Bread? It didn't happen. And I go by there almost every morning. And I didn't, I'd never see the, the debate going on like that. You know, I usually see someone getting out of a car, walking in, they have some Dior clothes Walk on. Right back out. Right, come back out. Jerry Mike in there throwing money around like peanuts, you know. Tyler soon, Tyler soon. When are you going to get engaged to the shoe thrower? Okay, enough. This week? No. If we send both of you to yeah. B. Riley next week, you could have like the quick Elvis Chapel one. We'd have footage of Tyler and Mary. Yeah. My wedding chapel. And, and Elvis. Yeah, or they could do Star Wars. I think that's an Can option. Can you do Star Wars? Star Wars is cool. Yeah, Star Wars is cool. Star Wars is cool. Right. Uh, Star Wars shoe thrower, Jen. Jen, she has a name. Jen and Lara. Shoe Jen and Lara. <laughs> no, I don't think the German. I can get talk ready, to. girl. I don't think I can talk to German into the Star Wars wedding in Vegas. We could just do a sure. nice traditional ceremony for him. But I'm pretty sure I can talk Tyler into it. <laughs> <laughs> Tyler's a little if we bit more Tyler of the a right team player. Before. If we tell him we're going to get a hundred thousand views that day, would you please click the feedback button and tell us so that you'll watch Tyler's wedding please. ceremony to Jen the shoe thrower? Um, at a Star Wars wedding in Vegas next week. And we'll get some interviews maybe from Beyond. You can best man it all made of honor. Your mic can man the camera from behind Elvis the Priest. <laughs> That's right. It'll be great. Tyler, this would be a fantastic show. <laughs> Tyler's seriously thinking about it is the funniest part. Yes, He's like, you will. Hmm, I wonder come if Zach will pay me for this. Yeah, okay. come on. We'll get it. <laughs> Don't you like Jennifer? I love her. She's one of my favorites. Tyler's um, behind the camera going, yes, I love her, over and over again, as if we're going to say something terrible. Out of like the 30 different chicks that you brought in here or that I've seen at bars, she's absolutely one that of the top. That one you had yesterday was terrible, <laughs> Tyler. We're kidding. We're kidding. We're sorry, yeah. Jen. I would kill someone if they did this about me. Well, Marley, we're going to do the Marley show soon if we don't oh, see Ben in a dress. The hooker of <laughs> we we don't see Ben in a dress. He needs to live up to it. He needs to learn to become a man of his word. We're doing. We're at, we're at twelve five today. God bless America. The dial's up two hundred points. Going back oh, do you know what else? Do you know what else I want to talk about? Um, this is more liberal scum stuff, though. I will try to. Six? We'll try to make it quick. Um, do you remember all the liberal scum talking about how like Seven. the BRIC countries, Brazil, Brazil, Russia, India, China. They ran the world now, and America didn't mean anything. Turns out America sneezed. We dropped 200 points. They closed down. They're down 40%. Do you know why? They're nothing. <laughs> right? Never forget that, people. There's America, and then there's places that mean nothing. Um, and I guess that's our show for today. I don't have too much else. We're going to have Tyler with some cool interviews this week, and we'll have some CEO footage this week. We will. And... If Ben decides to ever become a gentleman, he's supposed to be a good Southern gentleman. He's not Southern. Uh, he went to UVA. Where's he's he? He's not at? Southern. Virginia's the South. I'm Lincoln. not Southern. I went to Virginia. You're Southern. I'm not. Um, in any event, we were in Syracuse. Syracuse is the South, too. <laughs> ben said Syracuse is Canada. He always goes, how's Canada? Your parents it's somewhere between the South and Canada. <laughs> it is. It is between the South and Canada. And Tyler's going, might be going back up there today. Syracuse? Yeah, for super top secret show. Oh, we'll cool. let you know about this. I know stuff. about it. Hmm. Um, well, that was seven liberal scums for today. We're yeah. every day at Wall Street Media. Remember, don't listen to them. Go to Covester if you're any good. Yeah, click feedback and tell us how badly you want to see Tyler get married on air because we can make it happen. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so you can find us at wsmco.com. Thanks for joining us.